it is great to see all of you with me today. I have a couple more coming down. Is that today we want to think about what we're going to be talking about in our sermon. And so I need your help today to help me think about that. Is that I want to know what kind of noise, what kind of sound do you make when you get one of these on the screen today? When you get one of those owies that you need a band-aid, what noise do you make? Do you cry? Is that do you make just a, maybe a, a little tiny whimper? Do you make a great big cry or a moan or a groan? What sound do you think that this little boy made when he had this accident? I think that was a little bit more than just a small little cry, right? It probably looked a little bit more like this next picture. A great, big, tearful cry, right? Now, I know how big and tough and strong you guys are, and that uh, you don't do any of that stuff, right? So you're just strong. But it's all right. We all cry sometimes. That sometimes we cry because of physical pain, that we've hurt ourselves. That sometimes we cry because something sad has happened, that maybe something really tough has been had. But the truth is this. Today we're going to hear John talk to us about all of these moans, these groans, these pains, and these cries, and all of those sounds that we make when we are sad. Because today we hear that promise that there will be a day, that there will come a time when Jesus will wipe away every tear. That He will take away every pain, every moan, every groan, every single thing. That Jesus will take away death itself and that we will no longer have to worry about being sad about when someone dies. That what does John promise? John promises us that one day that we will be in that new creation, that new heavens, that new earth, that we will be with Jesus forever, and that things will be made right. Now that's something good, right? That's something that we look forward to. And so I want you to remember, any time that something sad or bad or tough happens, that may it be a reminder that it cries out for a day when all of that will be put away. And so I invite all of you to please join me, both kids and congregation, please repeat after me as we go to God in prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you for being the way and the truth and the life. You lead us to heaven, the promised hope of a bright future. Amen.